Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change the Pulsar 10500 from bonding neutral to a floating neutral. So this is the Pulsar 10500. It comes with a bonded neutral, meaning that the ground and the neutral wire are bonded together. So I'm going to show you how to get that into a floating neutral. The reason that you'd want to get this floating is if you're trying to in hook it up to your inlet box. So if you're trying to hook this up to your home through the uh, via the inlet box, it needs to be floating because you have to have one bonded point and that's going to be in your main box. So uh, let's get this thing open and um, if you're looking to convert this to a floating neutral, I'm pretty sure you already know exactly why you need to do that. So let me show you exactly how to do it. First thing we're going to do is get some tools. All you need is a long screwdriver, 14 millimeter. I have my impact to do that and a 516 drive. So what we're gonna need to take off, I already have most of them removed for shooting purposes. We need to remove our handle, front fascia plastic, and your display. All right, so let's get the first thing off. The first thing you need to do is remove the two bolts for the handle. So you come over here, this is a 14 millimeter. Get this one off and you just pull that off. Get these off. The other side. So you get your handle off, put it to the side. You'll get your 5 16th and you'll remove all these. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Once you get this 10 off, you'll be able to access your panel over here. So let's get these off. All right, guys, so once you get all 10 of the front panel off, you just reach right here and pull it back. And you'll have to twist to one side to get it off. If you want to remove this, you can. 14 millimeter right here, so you can access this screw. But I don't have to remove it because I can just use a long screwdriver and get right, right around it. Okay. Once you got the front cover off, you see uh, access to your display and everything. You have your inverter on the bottom. You're not going to be messing with the inverter and you're not going to be removing these two screws right here. These, you're going to remove the silver one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I already got got them off loose. So let's go ahead and remove those eight. Remove the eight. Before you remove the eight, get you your, your long screwdriver and reach in here, remove your selector valve or you'll damage this. Unscrew it. Once you unscrew it enough, get this bolt off and just pull it out. Keep it in the same position. So when you put it back, you know it's an off. All right, once that's off, Remove your eight bolts. All right, guys, now we have our fuel selector valve off, eight bolts, and the 10 cover bolts. Everything is off. Okay, so you pull this off to the side. That's all you need. That's all the space you need right here. Just pull this off to the side. You don't have to come any further than that. You don't have to force it. You just uh, pull it and get it that much off on the right side. Now, I'll show you the jumper that creates your bonded neutral. That's the point your neutral bonds to your ground. Let's get that off. All right, so where we're gonna be working is this plug right here. All right, the one all the way to the right. I want you to look on the bottom. See right here? This jumper right here, this white jumper. That's the one we want to separate. So it comes right on the bottom of that. You see right here? Yeah, that's where your ground and your neutral bonds. So remove that green screw and you're gonna put the ground back, but keep the white wire out. It's gonna come right here. I hope you guys can see. Remove this screw. Just loosen it up a little bit. Pull the neutral out, 
put the ground put the ground back in once the ground is back in go ahead and tighten it up I removed the neutral I put the ground back so this neutral right here pull it out get it to the side now you secure this neutral with some heat shrink tape whatever you need to do to secure it I'm not gonna cut it I'm just going to get some tape tape it up or heat shrink and heat shrink it that's it I'm gonna use my multimeter to verify that you'll hear the beep let's go ahead and open that we can do any one of them it doesn't matter I think this is the easiest one so we'll go from the neutral and the ground okay. when I touch this together so let's go to the neutral and touch ground. It's floating neutral. Do that. Go to the ground. Now beat. You have just converted your Pulsar 10.5 to a floating neutral. Go ahead and return everything to back the way it was. Put your meter, put your display, everything back. And you should be done. So let's get this back together. I know some of you all like to follow the instructions and steps, so I'll do that with you. Let's get it back together. So you're going to come over here, get your, uh, I have some nice thick electrical tape, and I'm going to put it on there real nice and tight. One. ahead and hold this up put one in we're gonna get them all back in All right guys, so you got all your bolts back in. Now you need to replace your fuel valve, your fuel selector. You need to replace this. So we took it off on the off. We're gonna put it right back in the same position, slide it in there and just hand tight. Don't over tight it. Torque it down a little bit. That's it. Get your hand, your cover. When you put the cover in, put this side first, then slide this side back in. And just press them down. That's it. Start putting the 10 bolts. I like to put the first one in the middle up. That nice right there. Don't over tight them, it's just plastic. show you guys a little trick so when you're putting the cover back if you can't get this down just loosen this screw right here so just loosen this one and the one on the side and I'll show you how easy it is to go back just come over here loosen that a little bit loosen that one a little bit don't take it all the way off just loose now you go back with this one you can okay another thing is when you're replacing this one make sure uh, you might have to take this off 
to get access to this screw. I have a long 5 6 cents, so it's not a problem for me. Okay, everything's back. All right, guys, now you're going to put your handle back in. Let's move it up. Get these bolts back in. Install the nuts. Put one over here and one over there. Get this nice and tight, and that's it. You're done. Once you get that tight, you're done. All right, guys, that's it. Your Pulsar 10,500 is now floating neutral. If you need to have a bonded neutral, get you a 30 amp plug and you can make a bonding plug for this and it will turn it back into a bonded and if you're using it on extension cords that's when you want a bonded generator or if you're using it on an RV you want a bonded generator going to an inlet box you need a floating alright guys thanks for watching this quick video I hope this helps you guys out if this video helps you out go ahead and subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up leave a comment and that's it thanks, thanks for watching guys and have a great day